Today is the last full day for people in Florida to finish their preparations and leave. Thanks for joining us at this hour. I'm Tracy Hutchins. The storm expected to late, make landfall late tomorrow night, but its effects will be felt farther than just southwest Florida. Let's take a live look right now in Jacksonville Beach on Florida's northeast coast. Right now, things looking calm, but they are under hurricane warning. For a closer look at the storm's track and intensity, let's get over to First Alert meteorologist Fred Campagna. Tracy, earlier today, the storm's intensity went down to 145. Now it's back to 155 miles per hour. So it is regaining strength as it moves away from the Yucatan Peninsula. It is now about 465 miles from Tampa, and it looks like it is going to make a beeline for right around the Tampa Bay area. Check out the satellite presentation of the storm this afternoon. You can see that perfectly circular look to it now as it is re-strengthening Hurricane Hunter aircraft were checking it out and as of two o'clock it was a uh, re-strengthened to 155 miles per hour any stronger and it will regain category five strength and that is possible by late this afternoon. Now it is expected to weaken to a category three as it approaches the coast. One thing we do want to know it looks like the storm is going to move a little bit slower so this is going to be an overnight hurricane when it moves inland somewhere probably between about Tampa and Sarasota just an absolutely awful track for people living in that area and some of the impacts that will be felt that unsurvivable 10 to 15 foot storm surge, especially for those barrier islands, as well as 82, maybe even 120 mile per hour wind gusts right along the coast. And some of those 80 mile per hour gusts may be felt on the other side of Florida as the storm crosses the peninsula and moves into the Atlantic Ocean uh, Thursday morning, 10 to 15 inches of rain in the hardest hit areas closer to home. It is super cold quiet weather wise for us sunshine this afternoon. It's near 80 right now. It'll be in the upper 70s at six o'clock and a cool night for us as the temperature dips to about 60 by early tomorrow morning. We'll talk more about those potential impacts in Florida from Milton coming up in the full seven day forecast. We'll see you then, Fred. Thanks. Now you